Hey, Indeed. Judy. Hello, Joel Prince. Hey, nice to see you. And We're going to do things in different, in different orders, but... <laughs> Speaking of digging up things are in the past, <laughs> um, Ooh, I've, got great, I've got a great, I've got great rumor about this. Um, Deadpool three has started filming and has now ceased, as we will come on to the actress strike later. Uh, later, but there is a rumor going around that Jennifer Garner will be donning the red leather outfit <laughs> um, <laughs> to play Electra. Uh, She's sixty years uh, old. Cut. Settle down. Man. Looks fantastic. No, no, no. She still looks fantastic, though. She's one of those women that like a fine wine. She, If you go to her Instagram yeah, account, she's, she she's still looks looking. amazing. Um, but, yeah, with it, so <laughs> they're digging up a character who Been had Been wrecked by Ben Affleck, but forget that part. Yeah, oh, but you yeah, can go with seconds. Batman's been, so it's a double bonus. <laughs> I've, stirred, I've stirred Batman's porridge. You you want to wear me to what? A Batman outfit? Okay. <laughs> All right, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's, I said to somebody the joke the other day of uh, dress for the job you want and not the job you have, which is why I'm uh, having a disciplinary at work dressed as Batman. <laughs> you turned up in a red hood, in a white hood. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it wrong. You should have dressed in the beautiful suit because what you really job you really want is billionaire playboy who has a lot of extra time on his hands to dress up as Batman. You did need the money. Think that through. Yeah, Did not think that through. Um, yeah, but the worst thing is, he turned up dressed as fucking Robin. <laughs> <laughs> with green yeah, tights on. I think he's Robin. <laughs> yeah. He turned up with green tights on. I thought he turned up to start reading stories to kids. <laughs> you know, I get the green why, tights, but what's why, with the Robin Hood shoe? <laughs> What I wear under my clothes has got nothing to do with you, right? Um, but yeah, no, Je Jennifer Garner is going to be reprising her role as Electra from the original movie, which is, I think, it's 2005. I watched both of Daredevil from 2003, which wasn't as bad as I remembered it was. It was, it was, it was all right. I mean, it's all not right. good, but it was all right. You're making me go full but Popeye I, here. What? But I watched, I watched Electra. And it is. It was. It was terrible. I had to get yeah. through it in about four sittings, and I kind of made myself get. Don't get me wrong. Come the end, when she's in the red outfit, uh, really, really bumps on them. But the the rest of the film is is bad. Is very bad. But it's a really weird casting to bring her back for Deadpool three for some reason. But how is she? Are they getting all these cameos? Are these like thirty second cameos. <laughs> I, who knows. Um, so I'll tell I mean, you, it'll be like the Flash. You're gonna bring back CG versions of Jennifer Garner. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not even dead yet. <laughs> would say, I've heard yet. a rumor. I think someone posted it on the comment section on the on the website. Was that? Well, it's not spoiler. It's only a rumor. That Wal Hugh Jackman is actually Hugh Jackman and not Wolverine. Is actually but that would, the actor uh, Hugh Jackman. I, I don't care. I don't want to uh, see it. I don't. That's care. what I'm hearing. That's quite an interesting take. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Deadpool two to give it a was chance. like too much of the same thing. I'm like, okay, this yeah. kind of real quick. The, the, the only out, thing that I out. have been finding is Ryan Reynolds is starting to get a little grating. You know, his character is kind been of. Grating. He's a lovely no, guy I, I, in reality. He's a lovely guy in reality. And if you watch that Welcome to Wrexham uh, TV show where yeah. they brought that football cut he's a genuinely nice, down-to-earth bloke. But, but his just, whole dick is just like, oh, yeah. here's, here's a new Ryan Reynolds. Oh, it's Ryan Reynolds being Ryan Reynolds, isn't it? It's Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. And surprise, surprise, he's being Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, you got to make the movie around him. That's when you make something like, what was it, Free yeah. Guy? Or something yeah. like that. If you yeah. make the movie around him, it's great. If you try to shoehorn in, him into something, it, it's very hit or miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm willing to give it a chance because the first two have been entertaining. They, ha I, I do like the little in-jokes. <laughs> I saw, I can't remember the actor's name now, but I saw Brown Panther <laughs> the other day in something, and I was like... <laughs> It's Brown Panther. <laughs> you know, and like I say, there are there are cracking little moments in them which make them incredibly watchable. And so I'm willing to give the third one a go, but I don't like the idea that they are going to introduce him into the MCU and blah, 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 because it's kind of... It's far too late. Far too late. Yeah. It's dead. It's dead. 
Yeah, Lucy, if saying. anyone's going to make a film about multiverses and, and take the piss out of the whole multiverse situation on cinema, then Deadpool's the way to do it. I still say they missed a trick. Uh, at the end of Endgame, have... Um, because, I mean, obviously, you know, what's his name? Captain America went back in time. But um, Anthony Mackie's character... Uh, uh, spoilers. Falcon... <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but have him in the compound and then have that pull running in going, I'm here. I'm here to help you kill Thanos. And it's like, dude, that was like five years ago. And just have him go, ah, oh, and then cut to black. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. it would have been it, it would have been absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, obviously they've missed a chance with that now. Okay, let's move on. Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or six o'clock UK time. And also remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.